These rocks are much more valuable than diamonds. For eons, they lay on the surface of a tiny ancient asteroid half a kilometer wide called Bennu, until they were mined with a puff of air by a robot billions of kilometers from Earth. Bennu was just a shadow on a telescope survey when it was discovered in 1999, but it's rich in carbon and it's older than the Earth. So in 2016, NASA sent OSIRIS-REx to collect and return a sample. Asteroids are among our most primitive bodies in the solar system. So being able to return samples from them is like taking a time machine back four and a half billion years ago to be able to see what the building blocks were for our Earth and all the planetary bodies in our solar system. Sealed in a capsule, the precious cargo will land on a patch of Utah on Sunday morning. This is just the latest attempt in a long history of sending robots to collect rocks from space. In 1972, the Soviet lander Luna dug into the moon's surface, collected about 100 grams of material, put it in a capsule, and shot it back to Earth. In 2006, NASA collected dust from a comet's tail in an operation called Mission Stardust. Now, Japan was the first country to grab a piece of an asteroid. Their first attempt, the Hayabusa probe, landed twice on one and nearly failed upon returning to Earth, but managed to deliver trace amounts of dust. They tried again, and in 2020, they returned five grams of pristine material from the surface of an asteroid. And China's lunar lander Chang'e 5 in 2020 managed to send back two whole kilograms of lunar material. Each of these grams and kilograms of space rock is still yielding clues about the formation of our solar system, from the composition of the lunar soil to the complex organic molecules necessary for life that are locked away deep in space. And new discoveries are expected to be found in tiny grains like these, some as small as a virus. In the case of Stardust, which were comet samples, just from a single tiny grain, smaller than a human hair, we were able to set bounds on when Jupiter formed and to know about how much oxygen was present in the early solar system. There's utility in this as well, because there's a very small chance that Bennu could crash into Earth in a century and a half. So learning about it now could help prepare the next generation for another possible celestial meeting. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.